Well, new tonight, a limited lunchtime debate in Oakland County that has a lot of you weighing in on social media tonight. A mother says her children are not getting enough time to eat their lunch at school. Some of you say it's now an issue in your school district as well. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live in Walt Lake tonight with how she is taking action for these kids. Rudy? Carolyn, this mother has now started a petition. She's asking the district to give her children more than 20 minutes at the lunch table. She has two kids here at Keefe Elementary School, and she says they come home starving. I don't enjoy my kids coming home starving. This Oakland County mom on a hunger mission. I'm still hungry. It breaks my heart. Angela Peters has two boys at Keefe Elementary School. She says when they get off the school bus, they dart to the fridge for food. Like most parents, I was like, you know what? You guys are talking too much. Maybe we should work on eating, you know, scarfing it down, work on you guys eating. Stop goofing around. But Peter says after talking to a teacher, administrator and other parents, banter at the lunch table isn't the issue. It's time. She says her boys only have 10 to 15 minutes seated to eat after standing in line for lunch. Peter says a teacher told her they would have more time if she packed their lunches. We're on the low income family plan. We had rough, rough times the past couple of years. We are getting better, but we still, we get free meals from the school. And there are a lot of people just like me. That's why she worries children that wait in line have less time to eat. Uh, I don't have enough time. Wall Lake released a statement saying in part, the time given for children to eat their lunches involves mandated hours of instruction, teacher professional development, special classes, bus schedules, and much more. The lunchtime debate has garnered national attention in other communities. This mom hopes it changes here in Oakland County. We should change this. National, if it's a national issue, why haven't we addressed it yet? And back out here live, that petition has nearly 2,000 signatures. The district says they will review it and give that feedback to administrators. No doubt this is a complicated issue and not easily solved, but this mother says she'll do what it takes. Live in Wall Lake, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. Rudy, thank you for the live report.